time. It is time, baby. <sighs> All right, we are headed into our induction. It is 2424. It is 7.50 in the morning. Uh, that bodes well for having our 2424 birthday. So I'm feeling very excited. My mom has the twins. They are super excited. We took like a super cute video right before we left. Guess what? Mommy's gonna go have a baby. Mommy's gonna go have a baby. I'm gonna hold Becca. You're gonna hold Becca? Mama. Yeah? You gonna hold Becca? Oh, I'm gonna hold Becca. I can't wait to hold Becca. Bye bye, Becca. Bye bye, Becca. See, see, you, see. You. <laughs> You're gonna be such a good big sister. <laughs> Boop. You want me to kick you one more time? Arlo kick Arlo. Want me to kick Arlo? Boop. Boop. <laughs> okay, give me big hugs. I have to go now. I love you so much. I love you. I love you. My induction was scheduled for one o'clock today, but they actually called me last night at ten um, and asked if I wanted to come in early. But I wanted to try to sleep, even though I only slept till like. 3 a.m. and then I was up um, and then like childcare obviously of it all so I said can't do that but I'll call in the morning and then I called at 6 a.m. and they told me to come in at 7 30 and I said I can do 8 so here we go <laughs> and I am super excited I'm not nervous literally at all like I'm only just like anxious and excited so let's do it there's the view here's the real view <laughs> she's looking snatched okay we're hooked up so I have to be on another medicine for a few hours before they're gonna actually start the induction. So we have like three hours or so. Well, in an hour they're gonna start me on Pitocin, like really low dose, but we're just gonna chill in for three or four hours before they're really gonna start induction um, to like get all the medicine that I need in beforehand. So we brought my French toast. We're gonna watch a movie, vacation. Just chilling. Just chilling. How are you feeling today, Papa? Feeling great, we are just chilling. 30 minutes till we start low dose Pitocin. I got my orange You're juice. drinking my juice? And then in like three hours, I get one other bag of medication. And then they'll break my water like 30 minutes after that. Hello. It's almost 11 now, so we've been here yeah. three hours. Five minutes, they're gonna start low dose Pitocin. I'll stay on that. An hour after that, at noon, anesthesia gets called for my epidural. Then an hour after that, at one o'clock, the doctor's going to come in, break my water, and start the second bag of medicine I need to be on before I give birth. And that bag of medicine takes like an hour to enter my body. So hopefully I don't give birth within that hour, but things should really start moving at that point, so. All right, little Missy just got her epi, or epidural. Epidural. I was a little bit of a baby. <laughs> I I got really worked up. I got really nervous. I of, like I got one last time. It's fine this time. I like started to cry. I got nervous, and it was not bad. Like it's like a pinch, and it's over. I don't know why that happened. I got really <laughs> freaked out. But anyways, it's in. Toes are starting to tingle. We're gonna break my water soon and see. And then see it's game time, happens. baby. See what happens. Hi everyone. We have Hello. the patient here. She just had her water broken. Now we just wait. Now we wait. Kind of hanging out. Literally, we just wait to see what happens now. Contraction right now. But the epidural is just lovely. And yeah, that's a good contraction. I feel that. That is tight. <laughs> that is tight. All right, stay tuned. Do we have a table? Yeah, it's right here. She just went all of a sudden. Oh, Thank you. Okay, so front, front. Right, then give me another little push. Here we go, and that baby. Here he is. Okay, okay. Hello. Hello. How are you going yet? Welcome. Oh my god, that's hard. It's very short. Good job. You did it. All right. So we want you to cut it close. Right here? Yep. Now he's free. Now he's little. You're little. 
We are done. Heather, well, I guess Heather's done. 10 minutes of pushing. He was born at 313. Yeah. <laughs> He's six pounds, seven ounces, which we thought he was actually smaller than that. He's a little guy. He looks a lot like Hudson, I think. And yeah, my, they broke my water in like two hours on the dot, basically. He was born, yeah, which I was like feeling a lot of the contractions still. And then she was like, I'm just gonna check you. And she's like, we're having a baby, we're having a baby. And then push for 10 minutes. La di da, here he is. Here little he guy. Is, little guy, but not, not too little. Daddy, holding him for the first time. Find any goodies. <laughs> <laughs> He's tiny. <laughs> All right, people. We are All right, just <laughs> we're just hanging out. Little guy got his. We haven't even said his name yet. I know. Are Should we saying say it? it? Beckham. <laughs> Yeah, it's Beckham. Little Beckham, he just got his hearing test done, so uh, everything is looking good there. Now he's just resting a bit, and we are just watching some TV on, a, on my laptop since we have to wait for some more tests to be done. Yeah, here's the thing. I just wanna go home. You have to wait, they want you to wait 24 hours, and you have to like do different tests and things. Okay, Alec is going to grab me coffee. I'm just chilling here with Beckham. He needs to eat. He's eating great, but he's just in that first 24 hour snooze fest mode. So um, I'm gonna take this opportunity to tell you really quick like what happened <laughs> yesterday. So let's talk real quick. Um, basically what happened is I got my epidural and it like wasn't working great and I didn't realize it like, kind of starts at your toes and works its way up but I like sat myself up and I had my knees bent for a while and then they came in they're like oh no you need to be like laying down so like the epidural like I couldn't feel anything from like my knees to my toes but I could feel everything else so at that point though they had broken my water and <laughs> I am so happy that we did an induction because they broke my water and within like five minutes, I was having contractions and they were legit. Like if I had been home and my water broke and I started to have those contractions, they were immediately like three minutes apart. Um, pain, they were for reals. Um, I literally don't even know if I would have tried to drive to the hospital. I might have just like called 911 and been like, I'm giving birth right now. They broke my water in like two hours, like to the dot almost is when I gave birth, so still really quick. The two hour labor is very quick. Again, if I had been home and needed to like get someone to watch the twins, get over here, get it, like that would have been really stressful and I would have been unwell. Yeah, but like I probably labored for an hour before we fully got the epidural like working. They had to bring the anesthesiologist back in and give me another like full blown hit to kick it up a notch, which ended up doing the job. Um, but uh, then I was like really numb, which made it hard to push. But right before that, um, so like the contraction was really bad because the epidural wasn't working. Then we got the epidural working and I like rode those out really easy. We had like Jack Johnson playing, it was just me and Alec, and then my nurse, Nicole, who was just fabulous. And um, then they started to kind of get uncomfy again. So I'm like, oh, is it wearing off? Like, she was like, I'm just gonna check you. It's been two hours, I'm gonna check you. And she was like, oh, 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 okay, here we go. We're having a baby, baby's coming. Everyone in, baby's coming. <laughs> like, you're out of 10, he, here he comes. And I immediately like started crying. I don't know why. I was just so excited to meet him, I guess. And the thing is that the on-call doctor was delivering twins, <laughs> of all things. She was not there for my birth, so they were like, we need a midwife, like, we need someone in here. So they brought a midwife in, Donna delivered my baby. And yeah, I pushed for 10 minutes. I was so numb. I like literally couldn't feel myself like push, which I wasn't mad about because the twins birth, I could feel it and it hurt. So I was just like pushing as best as I thought. Like I felt like my eyes were gonna pop out of my head, but um, 10, 
10 minutes and uh, pulled him up on me. But why well, pull him up on me? I mean, barely. My nurse said it's the second shortest umbilical cord she's ever seen that um, you couldn't even get him like up past my belly button. It was so short. So they had to um, just like we waited like three minutes for the um, delayed cord clamping and then Alec cut the cord and then I was able to like put him up on me, but it was crazy. And he was just healthy as can be. We're just hanging out. So we're hoping we can go home in like three hours from now. It's 1230, you have to wait 24 hours. So I'm like, he was born at 313. I'm like, I want to be out of here at 314. So we'll see. I'm very excited for him to meet the twins. They were going to come here to the hospital. That's been the plan the whole time. We brought like their presents for them to give and all the stuff. But we just decided it might be just too overwhelming. Um, it's like a little tiny room in here and just like lots of stuff and buttons and beepers and lots of people coming in and out after you have a baby to like talk about different things. Just like, I'm uncomfy. I'm like not wearing real clothes. Like, and then they would have to like leave and say goodbye to me and like, I don't know. Then they have like nap schedule. We were trying to figure out the timing. So my parents, they're with my parents right now, having the time of their lives and um, we're just gonna go home and then my parents are gonna drive them to our house and we'll do the meeting there. Cause I feel like they're gonna like look at him and then be over it and then they can go play with their toys, so. Mm, he's just a little doll. Look at him. He's got a good amount of hair. That's the update. We're officially discharged, but we have our photographer coming right now to take some pics of baby Beckham and mess with baby Beckham and then we're going home. It's two o'clock, less than 24 hours since he's been born, but I'm ready to go. All right, we are done. We got the photos taken, getting him dressed. We're breaking out of here. We are breaking out. Look how tiny. This is a newborn PJ. His newborn PJs, he's swimming in them. He's only, he's six and a half pounds. At least, at least slightly bigger. The twins are swimming in their newborn. I mean, the in preemies. <laughs> okay, let's go home. All right, dad. Way. Headed home, Beckham. Here we go. All right, the kids are here. We have Beckham in the bassinet, and I'm gonna greet them, and then we'll go to Beckham. Apparently, that's how you're supposed to do it. So let's see. My expectations are low. We'll see how they react. Hey, hi. Did you have fun? Hi, Harper. Give me a hug. I missed you. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> Did you have fun with Grandma and Grandpa? Well, you are enormous. Hudson, look who's in there. Are T-Rex? Look who's in there. You want to see? <gasps> what is that? <gasps> who's that? Baby. Is that Baby? Is that Beckham? <laughs> oh. <gasps> 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 Did he make a sound in you? Should we get him? <laughs> okay, look. Look. Oh, you wanna see him? Come here. He popped out. He did pop out. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, is he making sounds? Oh, look how little. I pet him. You can pet him. He's really little, so you have to be careful of his head. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good job! Is he so tiny? You wanna see? Look. Is he so tiny? He's sleeping. I think he's having a dream. Is that so silly? You want that too? Are oh, you being so gentle? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> are you holding him? Mm -hmm. oh, you want me to hold him? There you go. Okay, hold on. I don't want to hold That's okay. I'm going to hold him. Oh, you want to do it again? Okay. Hey, my patty. Yeah, that is actually for Beckham. Is Beckham has the hands? same passies that you have. Uh, I'm going to go get it for Beckham, okay? Okay. Thank you. That's that so nice. nice. Can I put it in his mouth? 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 Can I put it in his mouth?
Hey, Hattie, wait. Did, did you want to see your present? Yeah. Hey, look what Beckham got you. Oh, Beckham got you a Beckham get you a T Rex? Beckham got a present too. Thank you, Beckham. Yeah. Uh, Beckham got a present too. Do you want to give him your present? Do you want to show Beckham what you got him? Uh, open it for him. <gasps> What'd you get him? Did you give him his scruffy puppy? Oh. And Harper, you got a giraffe. I help open the giraffe. Just his cheeks. Oh, thank you. Do you want to help pat his back? A little burp? Yeah. Didn't jump.